last few hours, <coughs> this there has been shaking and thundering noises. No, no animal knows what it is, but we are the first thing to know. It's a herd of brachiosaurs. They they have been migrating from the north to the south. Because it, the drought is going all over the island. It, on, the other, on the north side, it's very, very dirty usually. So imagine how it is right now. That's why they're migrating over to the south side. The brachiosaurs are one of the tallest species of dinosaur. Maybe they are the tallest. Notice I said, I said at first, <clears throat> one of the tallest, so, I know what I mean. <laughs> they are also very heavy. Meanwhile, in these plains, a triceratops is feeding on some tall grass. But it's unaware that's being stalked. By the same parent source from last year. I mean last episode. <laughs> Sorry. We'll call him Rex. Rex. Who then for a kill. Rex stepped on um Rex stepped on a dried leaf and made it and it made a crackling sound. And now he lost his element of surprise. Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops. The classic battle. The Triceratops knocks over the Tyrannosaurus by charging into his leg. It's a dimorphodon. And not just any old dimorphodon. Same dimorphodon, same dimorphodon from last episode. And we'll name him Danny. Danny somehow survived the attack. But there's something watching him in the trees. A Quetzalcoatlus. Then the Quetzalcoatlus attacks. Or at least tries to. The 
Professor Quarles is dead, and Danny be be begins to fly away. Next time, a colossal battle, mating season, and new characters. Thanks for watching episode on um, Prehistoric Island, episode two, the mystery solved. Make sure you leave a like in the comments below.